This is CNN Tonight. I'm Don Lemon. Serious questions being raised about the Trump administration's security clearance process, including clearances for the president's daughter, Ivanka, and her husband, Jared Kushner. He spoke out earlier tonight on Fox. Over the last two years that I've been here, I've been accused of all different types of things, and uh, all of those things have turned out to be false. The House Oversight Committee chairman, uh, Elijah Cummings, says security clearance issues in the Trump White House are a million times worse than Hillary Clinton's email server issues. The Oversight Committee is looking into a whistleblower's allegations that the White House has given security clearances, quote, without proper analysis, documentation, or a full understanding and acceptance of the risks. We've also learned that the former personnel security director inside the Trump White House says he's willing to be interviewed by the Oversight Committee and asked not to be subpoenaed. Also tonight, President Trump still threatening to shut down the border with Mexico, but a top aide saying the president has yet to make a decision. And he is talking about health care again. Just in the last few minutes, a lot has happened, and we're going to bring all of this to you this hour, so make sure you stay tuned. Let's bring in now Max Boot. Max is the author of The Corrosion of Conservatism, Why I Left the Right. Also, Susan Glasser is here, April Ryan as well. April uh, is the author of Under Fire, reporting from the front lines of the Trump White House. Good evening. Good to have all of you on. Max, you first. Uh, I want to play more of what Jared Kushner had to say earlier on Fox about a career White House security advisor who alleges the Trump administration pushed through security clearance for some 25 individuals, including Kushner and Ivanka Trump. Okay. A whistleblower from the White House has now given a private interview on Capitol Hill to Democrats, and she says that 25 individuals were able to leapfrog over the, uh, the career people's concerns about security clearances, and they received security clearances, in her view, improperly. What's your reaction to that? Yeah, well, I can't comment for the White House's process, but what I can say is that over the last two years that I've been here, I've been accused of all different types of things, and uh, all of those things have turned out to be false. Uh, we've had a lot of crazy accusations, like that we colluded with Russia. Uh, I complied with all the different investigations, whether it be the Senate, the House, uh, the special counsel. I've sat for nearly 20 hours of interviews uh, with them. Uh, when I came to Washington, I had a very successful business career. Uh, I had extensive holdings. I disclosed all my holdings to the uh, Office of Government Ethics. And what I did with that is they told me what to divest, what to keep, what rules to follow. Uh, that was a long answer, Max. Did he answer the question? What do you make of that answer? Well, no, of course. I mean, he is doing what folks in the Trump administration always do, which is to deflect and deny and not really tell the truth. I mean, for example, Prince Jared delighted the fact that he had to amend his financial disclosure form repeatedly because, yeah, he, because he said in there he disclosed all of his holdings. Is that true? No, it's not true. I mean, maybe he's finally disclosed them at the end of the process, but he had to make a record number of amendments because he very conveniently forgot a lot of his holdings to begin with. I mean, this look, Don, this is a serious potential security breach that this whistleblower uh, is, is, is calling our attention to here. The fact that you've had 25 individuals uh, where the professional security folks in the White House recommended they not receive a clearance, and they received the clearance anyway. And according to this whistleblower, I mean, among the disqualifying issues were foreign influence, conflicts of interest, concerning personal conduct, financial problems, drug use, and criminal conduct. I mean, do those sound like the kind of people who should have top secret security clearances? I mean, it's all the more ironic that, of course, uh, President Trump became president to some extent because he kept chanting law corrupt because he accused Hillary Clinton of practices that compromised American security vis-a-vis -vis her, her private email server. And as Democrats are now saying, this is potentially a heck of a lot worse. And mm -hmm. I mean, it begins with Jared Kushner, certainly, but it doesn't end with him. I mean, apparently there are at least 24 other individuals in addition to, to Jared Kushner, uh, whose clearances are uh, the result of political action, not of the recommendations of the security professionals. I'm glad you mentioned uh, Clinton, because Elijah Cummings says, this is for you, Susan, uh, that this, this is much worse than the Clinton email controversy. Take a listen to this. I think this is a million times worse um, because what you have here are people who literally have the top secrets of the world, of the world, not just our country, but the world, uh, with access to them, and, um, and they have not been properly cleared. But even, even more dangerous than that, they have been, uh, the recommendations have gone out to say they shouldn't have them. 
And so that should, that should alarm each and every American. I've got to ask you, is he right a million times worse than the Clinton scandal? You know, look, Don, I have to say, we're stuck in this endless loop of whataboutism, and, you know, we can never escape from the trap of comparing everything to the Hillary Clinton email scandal. These are utterly different and extremely troubling allegations that have a lot to do with the Trump administration and nothing to do whatsoever, as far as I can tell, you know, with the Obama or the Clinton administration. It's the kind of thing that if we didn't live in this toxic political environment that anybody would be concerned about. But what strikes me is that it's not just an isolated case of a whistleblower. This comports with really reliable reporting we've already had from inside the White House that the president himself personally had to overrule and order the White House Chief of Staff John Kelly to just go ahead and give Jared Kushner the clearance. You didn't hear that question, unfortunately, being asked of Jared Kushner in that interview on Fox just now. I'd have really been interested in what his answer would be if he was asked directly that question. Did your father-in-law intervene for you in order to grant you a security clearance. So you have this sort of um, unique, and that's the reason I say it's not really comparable at all to Hillary Clinton. You have this unique combination, essentially, of uh, bringing the family business right inside the White House here uh, with Jared Kushner, but also her, the allegations of the whistleblower are that that has now been turned into a systemic uh, rewriting of the rules for security clearances that goes far beyond uh, Jared Kushner and Ivanka. For example, I thought it was very interesting in the story buried below is the nugget that they've actually now changed the entire vetting process for security clearances to eliminate, for example, doing credit reports on uh, these would-be White House officials. Well, why does that matter? Because you might find out if there was uh, something in their financial history, in their credit history, that made someone working in the White House vulnerable to blackmail, for example. Now we've just gotten rid of that. Yeah, it's interesting.